E-W-S. It is the Overnight Underground Weekend Roundup. Taking a look at the stories we covered this week on the Overnight Underground. Trump has released the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Well, National Guard. President Trump activated the National Guard in California, New York, and Washington on Sunday. New York, California, and Washington ensure that the National Guard can effectively respond to this crisis. But before you freak out, it's not martial law yet. The governors of those states still retain control of the Guard. The presidential order allows the federal coffers to pay for the National Guard while they remain under state control. You may not die of dysentery, but it appears that Oregon is next to shut down all things. Willamette Week is reporting that Governor Kate Brown is preparing to order Oregonians to stay put in their homes. Okay, my bad. Shut it down. This is shut it down! Oh, That's it! Lots of celebrities are live streaming their attention for shit now that we're all confined to our own four walls. We can, unfortunately, finally see just how much attention celebrities crave now that they're locked up. Like toddlers who won't shut up. The celebs can't stop sharing their privileged lives and screaming, Look at me! Case in point, Madonna, streaming from her bathtub, filled with milky, or is that stinky, rose petal water. That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about how rich you are, how famous you are, how funny you are, how smart you are. And what's terrible about it is what's great about it. What's terrible about it is it's made us all equal in many ways. And what's wonderful about it is that it's made us all equal in many ways. (laughs) What a ponderous twit. All this shelter in place is making someone happy. Your dog. The saddest time of the day for Fido is when you head off to work. So when you're working from home to do your job, your doggo is happier than a pig in shit. The Mirror UK is reporting that some dogs are experiencing what's known as excessive tail wagging syndrome. Yeah, it's a thing. At least one dog in England was so nuts with his tail wagging, he had to be taken to the vet. Its owner later learned that the pooch had sprained its tail due to excessive wagging. In a lockdown, what are the homeless supposed to do? Why, get arrested, of course, silly. In Orlando, police busted a 34-year-old homeless man for violating a county-wide curfew. The Orlando Sentinel reports that Alexander Glover was walking with his bicycle early in the morning when he was placed under arrest by Officer Alex Ham. My God, these Florida stories, they just write themselves. Hey, toilet paper hoarders, listen up. Have I got a sight for you. The coronavirus poop calculator. I pooped my pants. Just point your trusty browser to thepooptool.com. That's thepooptool.com. Poop in the bedpan. Enter a number of bog rolls you currently have in possession and the number of people in your household. Voila! As quick as a wipe. Through the magic of the internet, it calculates how long your supplies will last. My query said I have enough TP to last until June 30th, 2035. Is, Is that bad? I wouldn't think that we would have to mention this, but fish tank cleaner will not cure COVID-19. Fox 10 Phoenix is reporting that a man is dead after taking a substance used to clean fish tanks at aquariums. The man and his wife, who is currently in critical care, took chloroquine phosphate. On a positive note, his efforts to keep himself from contracting coronavirus appear to have been successful. Meanwhile, the Russian Federation dictator, or president, donned a hazmat suit yesterday as he visited Raccoon City Hospital treating COVID-19 patients. Wait, did I say Raccoon City? I'm in Moscow. Putin said the outbreak in the Russian capital was much worse than the official figures show. No shit, Sherlock. Outside of Mr. Royal McHorse face, Prince Charles, what other celebrity do you think announced they're infected with the virus? Let's spin the wheel again. If you pick Jackson Brown, come on up and pick up your flatbed Ford as a prize. Rolling Stone, a magazine that was once a very important part of music reporting and counterculture, but is now just a shadow of a shadow of a shadow of its former self, reports that Jackson Brown tested positive for COVID-19. The singer reportedly had mild symptoms and decided that meant it was time to get tested. Now it makes you wonder. How the celebs and the wealthy can get tested, but the plebes just stay at home with no tests? 
and cough into their t-shirts. It looks like our package is finally about to get stimulated. Oh, yes. The Senate and White House reached a deal just after midnight on that $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package. The bill reportedly includes $1,200 checks to many Americans. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Over $350 billion in loans to small businesses, $130 billion for hospitals, and half a trillion dollars for companies, cities, and states. But don't start counting your chickens just yet. This bill still has to make it through the Wicked Witch of the House. You wicked old witch! Well, yesterday we had a story about an idiot that took fishbowl cleaner thinking it would keep him from getting coronavirus. Yes, he died. Today we've got a story from Iran where clerics are telling followers to apply violet leaf oil to their rectum to cure the virus. Along with apply directly to the rectum, the violet oil treatment, the cleric also recommends combing your hair and eating lots of apples and onions. Of course, that will make you just buy more toilet paper. It's a vicious cycle. Remember the good old days, like two weeks ago, when you would get a dirty look for not bringing in your reusable grocery bag to the store. Bringing one in now is likely to get you more than just a dirty look in some states. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker has issued a temporary ban on reusable tote bags in grocery and pharmacy stores. And seeing that that is just about all that's open these days, that's just about everywhere in the New England state. From now on, reusable bags are prohibited and all regulations on plastic bag bans will be lifted. Finally, stores are not allowed to charge for paper and plastic bags at this time. Evil virus does indeed trump evil plastic all the live long day. Dr. Fauci, the one star from the daily press conferences from the White House, mentioned yesterday that coronavirus could become a seasonal infection. Not good. Fauci, the head of infectious diseases at the National Institute of Health, believes that in the Southern Hemisphere, where winter is now underway, the virus is already taking root. All this underscores the need for a vaccine for COVID-19. Maybe global warming is our new best friend. Take that, Greta. How dare you? Time to spin the wheel of celebrity infections. If you pick Kathy Griffin as the next celebrity to tweet their infection from their hospital bed, step right up, winner, and pick up your severed, bleeding Trump head. That's enough. Actually, we don't know for sure if Griffin has the dreaded virus at this point. She says they haven't given her the test, and of course, that's Trump's fault. He's to blame for the whole thing. Love him or hate him, Mr. Trump sure makes a good boogeyman. Put down the mic. Maybe they couldn't test her because being a total self-absorbed attention or nut job isn't a COVID-19 symptom. Yep. Still, if you want to see just how partisan and vile the world has become, just search Twitter for hashtag Kathy Griffin and cringe. Just make sure you put on your N95 mask first to keep from gagging on the stench. Some quarantine folks are getting pretty jinky over not being able to get their hair cut or nails done at the Galleria. Here's one brilliant pundit on Fox News. Women, I mean, y'all don't think about this, guys, but, in, you know, this is not a priority, but women have to get their hair done. You're, I saw someone tweet out, you're going to see what color our real hair is because our roots are going to grow in. Women, um, all my friends are saying, you know, I, this is not a priority. People are are dying and I realize that but they can't get their nails done well at least she said it's not a priority twice wait didn't Saturday night already cover this Jane you ignorant slut it's time once again to spin the wheel of celebrity infections if you pick Prime Minister Boris Johnson step right up and pick up your comb Sky News is reporting that the British Prime Minister tested positive for coronavirus after experiencing mild symptoms. Johnson released the following statement on Twitter. I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home, I'm self-isolating, and thanks to the wizardry of modern technology to communicate with all my top team to lead the national fight back against coronavirus. For those wishing him death and politicizing his infection, this reporter says, are you really sure that you can handle schadenfreude on the order of this magnitude? Well... Yesterday, we reported on the massive 3.3 million jobless claims last week. Today, we report 
that the U.S. Secretary of Treasury, Steve Mnuchin, has claimed on MSNBC, well, let's let him speak for himself. You know, to be honest with you, I I just think these numbers right now are not relevant. Those numbers are certainly relevant to the folks out of work, dumbass. Look, we get what you're saying. Maybe all this is hopefully short term and it will all come roaring back once the virus burns out. But come on. Have a little heart and empathy when you open your big mouth, douchebag. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. That three-day point gain on the New York Stock Exchange, the biggest three-day gain since 1931, hit a brick wall on the open of the market today. At opening, the Dow slid more than 800 points. Still, this couldn't stop one intrepid young woman from taking off her clothes and riding, or was it sliding? on the financial district bull in the nude yesterday. My bunion just got an awful twinge to it. The Overnight Underground website has a link to the pic in all its blurry genitalia glory. It's sort of like Wall Street Japanese porn. You can check out that link at the OvernightUnderground.com website. San Francisco may be on lockdown, and a lot of folks are running low on toilet paper because of you damn hoarders. Still, one clever techie found a good use for his drone. He used his drone to deliver a roll of toilet paper to a friend in need across San Francisco. The link, again, available on the Overnight Underground website. It's a pretty cool distraction to watch. Thank God the roll didn't start unraveling during its travels. I'm kind of surprised no one has TP'd someone's house using a drone yet. Shh, don't give anyone any ideas. N-E-W-S a mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.